Hey guys, this is Goofer King, and this is going to be the first video in a little series of videos on how to make a fume hood. I have realized that there are no videos on YouTube on how to make a fume hood. There are videos about homemade fume hoods, but not how to. So I decided I would take on the task of making the first one. So I've been planning out a design for a little while. And here's my design. It's not drawn to scale. I had it drawn to scale, but then I made some adjustments and never adjusted it to scale. But here's the design. I still have the right measurements. First of all, the front. The front is going to have some plexiglass that comes down. Um, and it has a little opening for your hands. It's the hand hole there. And um, so it's plexiglass. You can see through it. And the front is going to be 28 inches tall. That should be tall enough to do most experiments. So having dropper systems and stuff, and 40 inches long. You had to have it long enough to do distillation condensers. And the sides are going to be 20 inches wide and 28 inches tall again, of course, because this is 28 inches tall up here. Um, the phone's ringing, if you can hear that, I don't know. But So, when you figure that out, you're going to need two of these sides. You're going to need two plywood pieces or particle board will work, too. Um, I got... A uh, half inch thick. I got, so that should be thick enough. Um, so you're going to need two side pieces that are 20 by 28 inches, and you're going to need uh, a back piece that is 28 by 40 inches, and you're going to need a top piece that will be 20 by 40. So I have all the pieces here, and I'll, I'll come over here and look at them. I have this heavy weight set down on top of here because they were a little bit warped. So you can see here's the you can see the side pieces right here. This is the top piece and here's the biggest piece on the bottom is the back piece. And I also got the plexiglass cut. This is my plexiglass. It's still covered by protective covering so it's not see-through right now but we'll take off this covering here and it will be. And the plexiglass, I forgot to say the measuring on that, it is going to be plexiglass is going to be 20 inches by 40 inches because you want about I wanted about an 8 inch hand space for my hands to go through so it'll have to be 40 inches long and 20 inches tall and um, the probably the most important piece is you are going to need a centrifugal fan here's a centrifugal fan I just ordered this on eBay. Um, it's rated at 435 CFM. And there is a formula to calculate the velocity of a fume hood based on how big your fume hood is, how much cubic space it covers, how much CFM you need uh, for your fume hood. And the safe range for mine is a little bit over 250. This is rated at 435 CFM, which is probably way too much for the stream hood size, but uh, I also ordered a speed controller and uh, it'll be a variable speed and on eBay all this only cost me $110 this fan did which is a really good deal for a centrifugal fan. If you're looking for a cheaper option I'm not sure if this would work but you could probably use a duct booster fan which is used if you have a room that's too cold and you think that the air from your furnace isn't reaching it enough you put it in the duct system. I don't know if that would work also but yeah, with this fume hood design, uh, probably I would say no lower than 250. You'd get out of the safe range if you go below 250. I would say to just to be safe, 300, 300 probably go for 300. But if you have a very, if you get a variable speed with your centrifugal fan, that's a really good idea because then you will be able to choose the right speed for your experiment. So that hasn't come in the mail yet, but it will be here soon. But so, those are all the parts you're going to need for the fume hood, and this fume hood design doesn't have a bottom, so I can move it around and set it on any table that I want to, <clears throat> to make it more portable, and this is a 6 inch fan, it has 6 inches diameter there, the opening, and 6 inches here. You want to get an inline fan, whatever fan you use, you want to inline, that way you can hook it straight into a duct. So an inline, this is an inline 435 CFM, the brand is CAP, um, inline centrifugal fan, and it's really nice quality. I'm really happy with it. Um, 
the ducting we're going to use is probably going to be six inch uh, dryer uh, hosing so that we can just use a clamp and clamp it onto here so we could remove this if we needed to. Anyway, thanks for watching the first part in this series. Uh, in the next video we're probably going to start to do some assembling of the box. So, uh, subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.